What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I've got an artist themed desk setup tour that is nice and clean and simple. This is definitely a setup that anyone can still use, whether you're in a production or just want a clean windows all in one setup, but after putting it together and using it, the thing that really just came to mind was digital artist. Anyone who's looking for the ultimate experience to create digital art or design, this is definitely one for you. In addition to the main centerpiece, I also tried to pick bits and pieces that go around the setup that kind of emulate the artist's look. So as always, all the products are going to be linked down below and if you would like to win one item from this video, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel, drop a like on this video and also leave a comment down below. And I'm going to be picking a winner in the comment section when this video hits 3000 likes. So I think the first thing that people are really going to notice when they see the desk is the speakers. And the ones I've selected for this video are from Joey Roth. They're a set of speakers that I just really haven't seen a lot of on the internet. And when I saw them on Instagram in a post, I had to go ahead and research which ones they were exactly. One thing for sure though is that they look really nice and unique and they do appeal to kind of the artist look of the craft design with the wood stand and the ceramic base. The sealed ceramic housing has kind of a trumpet shape to it and also has a four inch driver inside. Above looks, the quality of everything is just very nice when it comes to the connectors and the plugins, and the sound quality is decent, but I will say for the price tag, I don't believe it's really worth it. You're definitely paying a premium for the design, and although they sound very good when it comes to highs and mids, I just found the bass to be extremely lacking. My personal choice for a set of computer speakers is still the Audio Engine A2 Plus. The speaker itself is powered by a 15 watt amp that also has a volume control knob and sitting on your desk this is just a very nice high quality piece just like the rest of the speaker. It uses 3.5mm or RCA for your input but I would have liked to have seen an option for USB as well especially for such a high quality grade speaker. So the main computer powering the entire setup is the Microsoft Surface Studio 2 and I think for an all in one option when it comes to the Windows side of things there's nothing that looks better. I will say first and foremost, this is a very expensive option and for many people out there this will be very hard to justify even if you need the pen and touch option. For industry professionals though, I don't think there's any better all-in-one option in terms of just the way it looks and the whole experience of it. The specs of the model that I currently have is an Intel i7 quad-core paired with 8GB of video memory, the NVIDIA GTX 1070, as well as 32 gigs of RAM and 1TB of internal SSD storage. The display itself is a 28 inch pixel sense with a 4500 by 3000 resolution. I believe the design and looks is something that Microsoft has absolutely nailed with any sort of hardware that they've done in the recent years. But I think for the price point, it's pretty easy to knock the performance of the processor especially being quad core with no better options than that. Otherwise the display is an absolute joy to use and the fact that you're able to fold it down like an easel to the perfect position is something that you won't find in many other monitors. There has been word circulating around that Microsoft will be selling the display on its own next year which is really good news. After they sent this over a couple months ago though, I've really had a lot of fun with it and I've been trying to use it as much as possible, whether it's doing just some digital art, having some fun with it, but also for some actual work more specifically in Photoshop, which is what I tend to use the most when it comes to digital art and taking advantage of the pen. Especially in product photography and thumbnails, there's often a lot of things like dust and small imperfections in products that you might have missed when setting up for the photo. And using a pen on a 28 inch touchscreen just makes things so much easier to see and correct. Some of the other things that I've also used it for are also masking things out when I'm trying to do a mock-up, for example, my kitchen right here, and also masking certain things out in After Effects such as rotoscoping, which using a mouse, even though it is still doable, might take much longer. I found the pen experience very enjoyable, and although I'm not someone who really takes advantage of the full capabilities of the whole system, if you're a professional that's willing to justify the cost in the digital art field, I think you're definitely going to love it, especially with the clean look on the desk. One of the reasons why I also picked this desk is that the keyboard actually fits in perfectly in the middle down to millimeters. So if you kind of want that clean canvas to work with on your table, you're able to put that away and take it back out very quickly. For this setup, I decided to keep the keyboard that came with the Microsoft Surface Studio and this is one that I think is overall a pretty good one. The keys are all very nicely spaced out and there is a number pad, so overall there's no complaints whatsoever and with the angle of it, it is very comfortable to type and it looks great on this desk. The mouse that I picked for this setup though is a trusty Logitech MX Master 2S mouse and this is definitely my favorite and you've seen it in pretty much every desk setup tour. It's very comfortable to use, you have a ton of customizable buttons as well as horizontal scrolling. The battery life has been very well improved on the newest generation and it lasts me around 2-3 to three months. And it also comes in a few different colors including the white one here which I think looks amazing. For anyone who's trying to get some work done, creating some art, or just working on something in general, you always want to get in the zone, and with that is a pair of good headphones. The one that I really recommend is the Bang & Olufsen H4 Wireless, and this is one that goes very well with the look of the setup, but is also comfortable and sounds good. 
without any wires sticking out. It just takes away one distraction. And this one right here has Bluetooth 4.2 and it's very reliable in connection. The battery life is up to 19 hours and the leather is nice and comfortable and there is also anodized aluminum on the caps. It also comes in a few different colors and most importantly you don't look stupid when you're walking around with this in public. Just to cap things off, literally, you also have a set of markers that's nice to keep around whenever you're just trying to sketch up some ideas before you do it on the full screen. Even though I've been working out in my apartment office for an entire year now, I still don't have a pen or pencil in the office so I think there's no better time to pick one up than the artist's desk setup tour. So now that I have a set of sketching pencils as well as a set of markers and a Surface Studio that's literally sitting two feet away of all times, I think I definitely should try some projects in industrial design whether it's designing some clothes or some shoes just for fun. So hope you guys enjoy that desk setup tour where I kind of focus on a minimalist theme that is a nice ultimate desk setup tour for an artist. And although I'm not really a digital artist myself, I used to really be into art, but over the past years, I just really haven't done it. And as you guys can probably tell, my skills are completely rusty. But now that I've kind of showed you guys the entire setup, I want to go into detail as to which pieces I picked one by one and the reason why. Before we get into that though, one of the most important things about any setup or office is to keep it nice and clean. The Roborock S5 robot vacuum is one of my favorite pieces to keep the entire apartment clean and it kind of goes in conjunction to a handheld vacuum which I use regularly. The S5 has one of the strongest pickups of any robot vacuum currently available on the market so if you have a pet and has a lot of pet hair because it sheds, this will be able to handle it no problem. There's also nothing more annoying in a tech setup than having your robot vacuum stuck to cables and stuff and I found this one to be very good about obstacles and avoiding them very well. On the app, you're able to schedule automatic cleanup schedules while you're away and it'll go ahead and clean your entire place and go back to the charging station when it's done. There's also multiple different power modes when it comes to sound. There's a quiet mode all the way up to a max mode, which is the one that I find myself using the most. So if you guys wanna go ahead and pick this up for yourself, it's $120 off for a limited period of time and I'm gonna drop a link down below. I would also like to thank them for sponsoring this video. So when it comes to a table, you guys know that I really like my white desk setups and although I did try to move away from it, I decided that for this video, I think white was the best choice just to go with the speakers and the overall minimalist theme. The desk right here is called the Campaign Writing Desk and I picked it up off Wayfair for under $300 in Canada and it's made by Monarch Specialties. The desk itself is 47 and a quarter inches in length and the middle portion is 16 and three quarters of an inch. And the reason why I picked an open cutout in the middle is because if you have a 15 inch laptop that you might use on the go, it fits perfectly in that space. But another reason why is if you guys saw when I put the keyboard of the Microsoft Surface Studio in, it just happens to fit within that gap by a hair. That's kind of a quick compartment just to put your tools such as your markers or headphones or anything you want. But the other drawers on the side are great for hiding out things to not be in the way. The silver legs of the desk also seem to match the legs of the Surface Studio very, very well. So I kind of think it just did a good job of bringing everything together and with a white color, it is very minimal when it comes to distraction as opposed to a wood grain desk. As for quality, I would give this desk a seven out of 10 and when it comes to value, I would give it about a seven and a half out of 10. When it comes to the quality of the desk, I would say that it is definitely not the best material out there, but for the price, I would probably buy it again. Another small tip that I have with the desk setup to kind of clean it up overall is to drill a hole on the back of the desk and have a grommet installed to have cables run through. So for example, on my main desk setup, I have a one inch hole on the back of it with a grommet, which is the plastic cover. And with that, I'm able to have all the cables run from the back of my computer using extension cords to connect to hard drives and card readers. Especially with a computer like the Microsoft Surface Studio where all of the ports are on the back and kind of hard to access, having like an extension cable that runs to a drawer like this through there will make the setup very clean. Of course, with any desk setup, there's no hiding the cables. And in this case, there is only two main power cables that run from the entire setup. But having the cables run through the middle just kind of ruins the whole cleanliness of the setup. So what I've done is actually purchased a TV stand cover and put that along the back middle of the setup and have all the cables run through there. When it comes to the wireless headphones, I think these were a pretty easy choice, the Bang & Olufsen H4. And although they aren't the cheapest out there, they're a pair of wireless ones that I think go very well with the artist theme because especially if you're listening to music for a long period of time, you need something that is nice and comfortable. And this is made out of a lambskin leather. It's also nice to have a wireless pair of headphones so you're free to use both hands for doing art on the Surface Studio without having a wire that kind of goes across the entire setup. This thing has a 19 hour max battery life on wireless listening, which is pretty good. And you also have the option to use it wired as well. And it charges via micro USB. You also have all of your controls for play, pause, skip, and volume on the headphone itself. And I just like the anodized aluminum finish. And I think it goes with the color scheme and is also available in many different colors. 
But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys wanna see any other themes of desk setups, whether it's colors or kind of industries of where you want me to kind of curate towards, make sure you drop that link down below and I'll see you all in the next one.